On Friday, October 28th, a small gathering took place at the Orion Veterans Memorial on Lapeer Road. In addition to all the monuments and statues that have been added over the past several decades, seven new flagpoles were erected on the site. We didn't think it was complete without a flag for each branch of service. Like I say, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, Coast Guard, Merchant Marine, and now the Space Force, all seven. How were these flags funded? Who helped make it possible? Donations from many sources and the selling of bricks, which we have uh, uh, donations from the bricks too and uh, so forth. Visitors were also encouraged to discover two new plaques that were installed near the Victory Garden that commemorate the efforts of women in the military and Rosie the Riveter, who represents the women who worked in factories and shipyards during World War II. I think our country has got forgotten women in World War II. Either that or they never knew in the very beginning because nobody has ever publicized women in the service in World War II. And even today, we've got a couple of women in our VFW posts. Uh, both were officers that joined our posts, and they're just regular people like they enlisted, you know. But women thought that they knew how important they were in World War II, but nobody ever recognized them. And I think, along with our Victory Garden, this goes, it kind of completes the story. My mother went to work in the plant in 1943, and she did stay the whole 35 years and retired. But after the war, the men got discharged, and they come home wanted their jobs back. Women weren't going to give them up. And uh, so that was the beginning of women doing outside work outside the home, uh, was World War II. Over the years, the Orion Veterans Memorial has become a gathering place for the community, hosting ceremonies on Memorial Day and Patriot Day, and inviting residents to have coffee with a veteran. For more information, visit orionveteransmemorial.com. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.